Hey, Jay here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to give you my top tips for swimming with a tow float. My first tip is, if you're swimming with a tow float that also doubles up as a dry bag, like this one, is to make sure that you don't have any sharp objects inside. This could pierce the air sacs. I know this from experience. If you do have anything sharp, just try and wrap it up in a towel or something. My next tip is, if you are gonna carry your electronic devices in there, like your phone, your car keys, or your headphones, pop them inside a foam pouch. This is just in case any water does leak inside, which can happen from time to time. It just gives you that extra layer of protection. Another thing that I do know from experience is, don't try and access what's inside the dry bag while you're out in the water. I've tried many a time just to get my camera out and everything has got soaking wet. If you are going to want to access some items whilst you are swimming, why not try the tow donut? This has a dry bag on top, which allows easy access to any items you may need during your swim. Another piece of advice, and this is from experience again, is if you are swimming in heavier seas, carry your tow float in your hand till you reach beyond the breakers. The sea is really powerful and it could easily rip it away from you. Now, if it's your first swim with a tow float, be aware you may need some adjustments, so don't plan on going for a huge long swim. Go for a little dip, see where the tow float is and see if you are comfortable swimming with it at that position. I get really annoyed if the tow float is right by my feet and I'm kicking it during the whole swim. So what I do is, depending which tow float I'm swimming with, I may use an extra strap to lengthen it. Now it's really important to know that tow floats are not meant to be life-saving devices. They are there so that you are visible when you're out in the water, especially around other water use. You should never swim beyond your capabilities and rely on the tow float for taking a rest on. Now finally, like any bit of sports equipment, they do require a bit of looking after to make sure they last as long as they should. I would make sure that after every swim, you rinse it with some cold, clean tap water, let it dry out of direct sunlight, and then store it in a cool place. So there you go, those are my top tips for swimming with a tow float. If you have any yourself, pop them in the comments below. If you do like this content, please hit that subscribe button below. It doesn't cost a thing. And until next time, Happy, but more importantly, safe swimming.